David Schneider. Here are your headlines for Friday, March 20th. Today, delinquent drivers get a second chance to clear their records for less money than they usually have to pay to do that. People from five Vermont counties can get their driver's license reinstated by paying $20 per outstanding ticket. It's part of Driver Restoration Day being hosted at the Chittenden County Courthouse today. The idea is to improve public safety by encouraging folks to be licensed and fully insured if they're on the roads. 22,000 Vermonters cannot get to work, school, or meet other obligations because they've lost their license. The counties participating today are Chittenden, Franklin, Grand Isle, Lamoille, and Washington. A fire at a major egg supplier in the region remains under investigation today. A barn at Giroux's poultry farm burned down in Chazy yesterday afternoon. This fourth generation farm has been supplying eggs throughout Vermont and New York since the 1920s. Crews spent the day fighting this fire. They say one of those barns was home to nearly 50,000 free range chickens. They say that barn was completely destroyed. Dozens of fire departments from New York, Vermont, and Canada responded. Pump trucks overwhelmed local water systems and actually had to start pumping water out of the river there. The cause of the fire remains unknown. And in Jay, authorities say 67-year-old Linda Van Valkenburg died in a house fire on Hazen Road. Her son, 25-year-old Adam Van Valkenburg, got out of the burning home and was treated for smoke inhalation. State police are investigating. An autopsy is scheduled for today. An apartment building fire in Barrie left 11 people without a home. That happened on Willie Street Wednesday night. Tenants think that strong winds probably tipped over a smoking container on the back porch. The flames spread quickly and got inside an apartment kitchen. The fire department quickly put that out. No injuries were reported. The Red Cross is helping out with emergency housing. Plattsburgh City Council has voted to approve the next stage of construction at the brand new Dock Street Landing Marina. The approved contract paves the way for work to be done by South Burlington Company, Needley and Chase Construction, with a bid price of over $300,000. The marina has 34 slips and 25 moorings. Seasonal slips and moorings are on a first-come, first-served basis and expect to be available this summer. Vermont's Department for Children and Families is taking part in a national pilot program that will provide specialized training to food stamp recipients with the goal of helping them move off of the program. Vermont will be receiving an almost $9 million grant from the USDA to provide clinical assessments to hard-to-serve populations, including the homeless, ex-offenders, and people struggling with addiction to find them the best education, training, and support services. The grants are part of the 2014 Farm Bill. A supporters and opponents of the Keene New Hampshire Pumpkin Festival will have to wait another week to find out its fate. City councilors had been set to vote on this year's license for the usually family-friendly event in New Hampshire, but instead the mayor sent it back to the very same council committee that rejected the license last week. Organizers came under fire after riots broke out nearby that led to nearly 100 arrests. Let It Shine wants a chance to defend the festival, but others are concerned about a repeat of last year's chaos that cost the city $95,000. The committee will meet again next Wednesday to vote the second time on the Keene Pumpkin Festival license. Well, thanks so much for checking us out at WPTZ.com or on your mobile device. Be sure to tune in to WPTZ News Channel 5 starting at 5 o'clock to get the very latest news and weather of the day. Till then, have a great afternoon.